Well, that didn't take long. CNN Plus closing up shop just weeks after its launch late last month. This is the biggest failure any media company has ever experienced. All they had to do was call their one subscriber They're like, hey, Doug, we're not going to do this. CNN Plus was such a disaster. They'll have to send Anderson Cooper to cover it in a tight black T-shirt. 32 days. Oh, my God. I've had uh, avocados that last longer than that. A gallon of milk, de Blasio's presidential aspirations, Kamala Harris's presidential campaign, and Seattle's summer of love all lasted longer than fake news CNN Plus. Even Tom Brady's retirement lasted longer than CNN Plus. Oh, just CNN minus. CNN <laughs> just went on that. They it, spent $300 million. They got 10,000 subscribers. They actually thought there was a market for Jake Tapper's book club. They wanted people to pay for this. Why charge for content nobody wants for free? And CNN is currently being beaten by stations like TLC and the History Channel and the Hallmark Channel. This was never going to work. It just seemed to be a colossal miscalculation, a, a colossal, you know, gigantic case of hubris. Imagine the hubris of thinking that something that people don't want for free that you're going to charge money for it. CNN Plus uh, leads the pack in terms of things people don't want to pay for. On so many different levels, it just seemed tone deaf. This may be one of the great, you know, case studies in, in business school on how to, you know, mismanage a brand and, and, and launch a new product. This will be remembered as one of the great failures in media. The funny part of all of this is, is everyone was noticing it was failing. CNN executives were like, yeah. no, this is a success. It's too yeah. early to know if this product, if this service was a success or a failure. I've, you know, you got all the haters today saying this thing was a failure. I don't know if we can even ever assess that because it just simply didn't have enough time because of the management change in direction. $300 million, it lasted for three weeks, but we're not really sure. Was that a success or a failure? Hard to know. The final legacy of the poisonous fraud that was Jeff Sucker. <laughs> what a rolling calamity this is. It couldn't happen to worse people. I can lift my window in my neighborhood and shout at no cost to anybody and reach an audience bigger than <laughs> well, that. like stories about terrorists getting shot in the face. I'm talking extreme, graphic, brutal violence. Beer, or you want to hear about porn stars spilling whatever secrets they might want to spill, then watch me by clicking on the link in the description or the button that pops up on screen.